Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Retro. You've just seen some clips there of a recent Southwest Amiga Group meet that we've both been to. Yes, it was a great day and it was the first time I've ever been to one of these meets. You've been once before. And uh, let's take a closer look then at how the day went. So when we arrived at the Swag Meet, the first thing we did was set up my Amiga 600. And after playing a bit of the new action platform of Power Glove Reloaded, we decided to set off and have a look around to see who else was there and what they had on display. And the first person I bumped into was Neil from the Retro Man Cave. Hello James. So today I am taking all of the keycaps off of my Amiga keyboard. I'm going to take an aid, but that's okay because we've got all day. Um, because the original keyboard that I had in there, as you can see the spacebar key is stuck down there. I mean it works, but it keeps getting stuck. And that's a, a mechanical problem, that's not something I can fix just by replacing a, a spring or anything like that. So um, I've replaced the keyboard controller board here with this filthy board. I've confirmed it works and now I'm putting the clean keys on the dirty board. That's a fun job, isn't it? <laughs> Everyone knows how wonderful Amigas were for video production and here's something you don't see every day, it's a pro grabber connected to a camcorder. This reminds me of a Dixon shop window from the early 90s. Being a huge Commodore 64 fanboy, something that took my interest was this Ultimate 64. This Ultimate Commodore 64 has got HDMI out and USB sockets. So you get a lovely crisp picture and then you can load all your favourite classic games via a USB stick. This Ultimate 64 belonged to a guy called Zeb and I must admit I was really jealous. Zeb had also brought along this BBC computer with a fancy SD card adapter. Now onto something that I haven't seen in a while and it's a Commodore CD TV. I remember looking at these back in the day in my mum's mail order catalogue and wishing I could afford to buy one. I would still love to own one today. Now let's all admire this awesome Commodore CD TV keyboard. Talking of keyboards, let's check in with Neil and see how he's getting on with his. So my DA going on it now, just to thread. This is the last of the dirt. Somebody else's skin, chocolate bars, and yeah, I don't want to think about what it is, but it'll be worth. And now on to the first guest speaker of the day, it's Stephen Jones from the company Checkmate. He told us all about the amazing case he's been working on, the Checkmate A1500+. I did the designs and I did a couple of videos and the uh, response was, was pretty damn good and I, I was really surprised. Everyone liked the look, um, it did change a lot. Um, well not huge, but it did change over time. So I thought I'd do a Kickstarter. Uh, as you Here's an example of one of Stephen's products, this Checkmate keyboard. If you had previously backed Stephen's Kickstarter campaign for the case, here's an example of the box that it comes in. Here's an example of the cases. Now they hold a whole host of Amigas, the A500, the 600, the 1200, as well as some modern motherboards like an ITX and a Micro ATX. The design inspiration for the case it came from the Amiga 3000 and 1000 and it has this keyboard garage that you can slide your keyboard under the machine to free up that desk space. And in case you were wondering what it looks like from the back, here you go. So over a couple of these swag meets they've been having a Speedball 2 competition and at this meeting it was time for the finals. And it looked like it all got pretty intense. Now who's left this mini fridge here? No wait, it's not a mini fridge, it's a Silicon Graphics Octane, the powerhouse. 
workstation from the early 90s. This bad boy workstation from yesteryear belongs to Neil from the Retro Man Cave. If you want to find out more information about the Octane, check out Neil's channel. Now let's check in with Neil and see how he's getting on with that keyboard. I got here at 10. It's quarter to two. I haven't used my Amiga. <laughs> So we're here at Swag, as you guys know, and I've bumped into a fellow YouTuber, it's Howard from Dubious Engineering. And it's lovely to meet you guys. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. It's good to meet you as well. It's lovely to be here. I mean, what a cracking event. So many cool pieces of old school technology that are still so useful today. And, you know, everybody's got loads of mods and loads of other stuff going on anyway. Um, so it's good to see you. Well, um, yeah. What videos have you been working on lately? Uh, so, uh, so right this very moment, um, Ravi and myself, uh, Retro Ravi's here, and uh, we're going back to my place to a little bit later on uh, hey. <laughs> to um, to work on a uh, an Amiga laptop uh, that we've been building together. So that should be quite cool. Um, and uh, my channel is an engineering channel, so there's all sorts of stuff in there. There's electronics engineering in there. Um, and at the moment, I'm actually converting a, uh, a VW camper van um, into, sorry, I'm converting a VW builder's panel yeah. van oh, okay. into a camper van. So that's van some, life, the, the van, van life and yeah. all that kind of madness. Yeah, it's really hard work. But we all know it's going to be worth it in the end, and we all know that it's going to have some seriously cool emulators and game stations in there at some point in the future as well. So, it's an absolute pleasure to meet you guys. Yeah, really cool to see you here at Swag. Please um, keep, keep an eye on the Facebook group uh, for Swag, for the Swag event. If you're in a local area in the southwest of the UK, it's an event that's well worth coming and visiting. And, um, you know, especially, obviously, if you're into retro. Um, which these guys all so are. are. Yeah. And don't forget to check out Howard. That's very kind, thank you very much. Dubious Engineering on YouTube. Dubious Engineering. Dubious Engineering. <laughs> Just kidding. Cheers, guys. Yeah. Take care. Bye bye. And the second talk of the day was from Vicky, who has an amazing YouTube channel called Pixel Vixen. Now, you can find her live streaming games, as well as telling you everything you need to know about using Deluxe Paint. So, manual, so this is the one for Deluxe Paint 4 AGA. Um, this one is the one for Deluxe Paint 5, which is an even chunkier manual. Um, you can obviously learn much more about the products if you do get the, the paper manual, I find. I mean, but your mileage may vary. So, so Dulux Paint uh, was made by Electronics Arts, and uh, as I'm sure all of us know, and basically had five main releases. Another great thing about these Amiga Meets is if you want to get some kit fixed or modded, you can take it along and there's bound to be someone there that can help you fix it and get it running. Talking of fixing stuff, it's time to check in once again with Neil. Well, I think fixing that keyboard's finally made Neil go a little crazy. Anyway, one of the things that I spotted at the event that I liked was this Philips Discoverer TV. I've always wanted to have one of these, but didn't realise that it's quite as big as it actually is. Just looks so retro. Now it wouldn't be a proper Amiga me if it wasn't for an Amiga demonstrating the power of ProTracker. This is Amiga musician Chris Poacher's setup that he brought along to the meet. Something that caught my eye at the meet was this pimped Amiga 600 owned by Adam. So we're still here at Swag and we've bumped into a fellow YouTuber, it's Keith from Digital Orphanage. Hello. Yeah. So Keith, why don't you tell us a little bit about your channel and uh, what you do on it? Sure, uh, so my channel, The Digital Orphanage, um, I started it towards the end of 2018 and I'm uh, pretty much doing everything with uh, 
Because the retro computers, I've been like and DS, that was my first video. Uh, and then my latest video was about uh, an Amiga game I programmed in the 90s that I think is terrible. Um, so, you know, pretty much anything to do with retro computers. And Keith, you've got loads of stuff here today. Yeah, so this is my first time at Swag. And I heard they were having a Speedball 2 competition, so I looked at my collection I thought, what runs Speedball 2? There's got to be a theme here. So I have behind me seven non-emulated uh, Speedball 2 machines. Um, everything from a Game Boy to a uh, Mega Drive and a Mega PC to Archimedes. So there's seven different versions all ready at once. It's a pretty good turnout. It's pretty impressive, isn't it? Why? I don't know. Because... Why not? <laughs> Why not? So yeah, go check Keith out on the Discord page. And finally, right on the table next to us was Daniel. Now, Daniel was running this deluxe paint animation on his Commodore Amiga. And he also brought along this really cute little Amiga that got a lot of interest. So there you go. That was how the day went. It was really good. There was so much to see, so much to do. And it was just great chatting to people about, you know, our Amigas and uh, the games we used to play on them. It was, it was really good. And so I think we've got a few thank yous to say, haven't we, James? Yeah, first of all, we need to say a big thank you to Stephen Jones from Checkmate, who's helped sponsor the event and made it affordable for everyone. And of course, the organisers that organised it. So you've got Derek, Rob, Zeb. And Dave, isn't it? And Dave, yeah. Dave, don't forget, don't Dave. forget Dave. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Dave. How do you forget a Dave? No. But yeah, yeah, if it wasn't for all those guys, the event just wouldn't happen. Yeah, so, so a big thank you to everyone, as well to everyone else that we met. Yeah. Um, so all the YouTubers we met there as well, do go and check out their channels because they're certainly worthy of a watch. Yeah, so it was a great day. And uh, like we say, the next one is coming up in September, we believe September the 7th. Mm. So we're probably going to be going along to that because I think we had such a good time. Mm. And uh, if you want to go, obviously check out the Southwest Amiga Group's website for the more details. And uh, we'll put a link to that in the description mm. as always. They've also got a really active Facebook page, so do look them up on there, the Southwest Amiga Group, and uh, get involved. Yeah, get involved. So uh, that's it for this video then. We hope you've enjoyed it. And as always, James, what are they going to do? Keep it Amiga! <laughs>